How's it going? I'm your host Fraser. Welcome back to Supporty Supporium. Today we're going to be planting some yellow dragon fruit. So this is our yellow dragon fruit and we've bought it and it's been in our greenhouse all over winter, been just growing, getting real tall. It's looking pretty nice. So ever since winter, we've gotten these bits here have grown up. So a lot actually. We're about to plant them into bigger pots. Moly, it's Ant Central in there. It's like 50,000 of them. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna grow up and mature over winter. Kind of like a cactus. It's got all the spikes. And don't want your kids walking around there. Okay, so this is our yellow dragon fruit. It's the most sweet of all the dragon fruits. It's absolutely beautiful. We've got a mature specimen over there and we took some cuttings before winter. We've had them growing all winter in our hothouse or it's our greenhouse down the back and they've put on this much growth, which is fantastic. So we've put them into this system here. So this is a trellis, they'll grow up through here and when they feel that they've reached the top, they'll weep out over the top like that and create like a nice bush and hopefully we'll get lots of dragon fruit from them. Over here we have a red dragon fruit. So this is a red fleshed dragon fruit which is also very sweet but not as sweet as the yellow one. So that's also going to grow up the trellis. Uh, it's August so in August it's quite cold but it's starting to get towards spring so we want everything to bed down here, the soil, We've got um, uh, potting mix, we've also got mulch, we've got uh, compost that we've been composting over winter. It's got worm casting in, in there as well. So it's a very rich, beautiful soil and it shouldn't need many amendments. And with the dragon fruit, you, the dragon fruit's got three, um, three sections that come off it like this. And there's a, one that's slightly flatter than the rest. And we put that flat one against here and we'll tie it up as it goes. And then once it flows over the top, it'll be perfect. And uh, I estimate that'll grow up within a season and come up over the top and potentially give us at least one or two flowers. Uh, and then definitely by two years time, we'll have some good dragon fruit on these. Uh, if you come over here, we can see one that's already produced. That one there, that's a yellow dragon fruit. And the thing is with the yellow dragon fruit, it's got spikes, but they just rub off. So this one's probably 150 days old. And uh, I reckon in a month or so, it'll be ready. Starting to get a little bit of yellow to it. It's been green the whole of winter. So that's our first fruit. So we're extremely happy about that. And come over here, Angus. My little buddy here is gonna say, what do you want the folks to do? What are they supposed to talk oh. it now? <laughs> you have to do like the subscribe thing. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You're one of those lazy people who are just like, oh, I like this guy, but I'm too lazy to just scroll down and go, do it. <laughs> no.